So I wasn't going to get this figure, I was going to pass on this, but then the other day I went and rewatched Days of Future Past. Stupid chain, stupid, stupid chain. Hi everyone and welcome to One Six Figure Focus and in this video we're going to be talking about the Wolverine 1973 version 6 scale figure by Hot Toys based in the likeness of the actor Hugh Jackman and obviously from the movie Days of Future Past. It's a pre-order product, there's two different versions, the deluxe version for $330 and the regular version for $284. Yeah, so look, um, like I said in the intro, um, Look, I like the X-Men, but I'm a kind of a Fairweather X-Men fan. I really like the 90s cartoons. I haven't read the comics, but um, yeah, look, the movies just fell a little flat for me. Um, definitely the original trilogy fell a little flat for me. I really liked First Class and Days of Future Past. Apocalypse, not Apocalypse, not so much. And the um, the Wolverine films, out of the Wolverine films, uh, Logan was my the one that stood out to me. So for me. First Class was good, Days of Future Past was good, and I really liked Logan. But after that, the only thing that kind of pulls me in and uh, makes those films watchable are Hugh Jackman's performance as Wolverine. I don't care that he's too tall. I'm not going to split hairs over that kind of stuff. I know that diehard comic fans will maintain that he's too tall and all that kind of stuff. But look, I thought he really, really embodied the role, and uh, I thought he did a great job. And despite the fact that I didn't really like that original trilogy, he makes them watchable in my own personal opinion. Don't have a Wolverine in my collection. Um, and the one thing that's thrown me off about this, even though this is fantastic and we're going to talk about this, is the claws. I really want the adamantium claws of them having one representation. But this figure is really, really strong. And like I said in the intro, I went and re-watched the Days of Future Past and it just dragged me back in. I nearly, I basically enabled myself. So... With that being said, this is the Wolverine 1973 version 6 scale figure by Hot Toys based on the character obviously Wolverine from the movie Days of Future Past. And we're going to take a look at the deluxe version. This is $330 and what is the difference between the deluxe and the regular you ask? So the deluxe version comes with everything you can see here, that's $330. And the regular version for $284 will come in with everything here apart from these yellow boxes here. So you won't be getting basically the base. Um, yeah, this is one I might entertain the thought of getting the regular version and saving, what would that be? You'd be saving uh, 84, you'd be saving 50, 40, $46? Hmm, I have, I, I'm not sure yet. We're going to take a look at some of these. Oh, the special edition bonus part, I think that's like, usually when you order within a certain, um, a certain time, you get the special edition bonus part. However, I've noticed that like, you can still get those pieces kind of a different uh, resellers and stuff. I think it's maybe Sideshow offer that. You you have to order in a certain time to get this bonus part, but um, yeah, I wouldn't really pay too much attention to that. Like, uh, if you really want it, maybe, but I'm pretty sure I've seen previous kind of exclusives, summer showcase exclusives, Toy Fair exclusives, where they have had this window where if you order this within this before a certain date, you get this extra part. But then like months, months later on different resellers, you can still get that bonus part anyway. So yeah, and it's the Sentinel forearms. I really like the actual Sentinels uh, in the days of future past. So $330, we're just gonna take a look at the deluxe, which comes with the base. We're gonna start off from here. Now my first initial impressions, I did a video when they announced uh, this and the Andrew Garfield and the lizard and um, the, the you know everything else they did that day. And my first, my, my, my point was that I know that different angles, head sculpts can look, you know, different grades. So some angles, some pictures, for example, I go to the picture I'm talking about. I go straight to the head sculpt picture I'm talking about. This looks like a 10. That is Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. When I think of Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine, this is exactly what I think of. That head sculpt is a, a, a 9 if not a 10. It looks fantastic. However, then at certain angles, what I'm saying is it looks different. Now I know that these sculpts will look stronger at certain angles than others, but like the previous picture is like a nine or a ten, and then this one is like it kind of drops down for me, drops down to like a seven or something. Like there's a bigger gap or something. Um, so what I'm saying is it's not unusual for head sculpts to look stronger at certain angles and slightly weaker at others, but I think there's a significant gap. This 
just looks a bit strange. Maybe it's, it may, it, I think this is the case. I know that there's kind of a, the old excuse is lighting, but I think maybe this might have something to do with it here. So the first thing I notice is the tailoring in this is fantastic. I love the way it has a kind of vintage retro kind of funky shirt. You look at the wrists, seamless. So obviously this is like an FU to uh, in art I'd imagine, as in they're just basically, a lot of people are saying that like, I've heard people saying, oh, in art are gonna become the new top dog. That's simply not true. They haven't pr produced anything yet. And, you're, and that's coming from someone who's ordered the rooted hair Joker two pack and a sculpted single. So I've taken that risk of putting my money where my mouth is because I think it's gonna be as good as the prototype. Fingers crossed, but it is a risk. But Hot Toys have a long history uh, of making these things. You know, they, they, they have their artists, they have their sculptors, they have their cut and sew experts, they have their, their, their you know, their master painters, like they have their distribution lines, they have their, 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 you know, their factory set up. So they've been doing this a lot longer. I know Queen have made statues, but like they're kind of just dipping their toe into the six scale. So Hot Toys are still the top dog. So one train of thought is that, you know, one extreme is that, oh yeah, in art are going to be the new kings. I don't agree with that. The other ex train, uh, train of thought is that, you know, Hot Toys don't care. They're not looking at Inart. I think that's very, very arrogant and I don't agree with that. I think Hot Toys are looking at Inart and other companies because think about it, if you have two basketball players and they're playing uh, for the same team, the exact same position, they're in competition for that position. So the person that has the actual position sees this other person come along. It's very arrogant of them to think, oh, that's not a threat. They're gonna work harder to keep their place. In the meantime, the person that doesn't have their place, the second choice is gonna go work harder to try and be the first choice. So the competition is good. I do think um, Hot Toys are keeping an eye on everything. Let's face it, they're definitely keeping an eye on Jazz Inc. Um, and they're trying to outdo those companies to make sure that they stay top dog and that's what they should. So you'll see later on, there's a leather, the head sculpt in this, fantastic. The leather jacket, fantastic. The diorama bases, they've really upped their game. Thank God they didn't give us a sand base with this. And the seamless wrists, nice touch. So it just makes it, makes it realer. It makes it more um, high end. It makes it more, you're getting more bang for your buck. So look, I do think the head sculpt's fantastic, just not this particular angle. Nice touch with the uh, exclusive with the Sentinel forearm, that kind of Gatling gun it has. Obviously it's got the bone claws, seamless wrists as I said already. The tailoring of the shirt looks fantastic. I love the way it's from 1973, really vin vintage and retro looking, as is this kind of orange um, brown belt. Now the leather jacket is genuine real leather. We haven't seen that in a while and thankfully because otherwise it's gonna peel like the pleather jacket on I think it's the DX13. And then the, the tailoring and the jeans looks good as well. So again, this looks super. And this is the type of thing that draws me in and um, makes me want to spend the extra money and go deluxe and get the base. So round base, uh, X-Men Wolverine written on a small little logo. Bit of grass, looks like a little pitch and puck course. That's hilarious. Um, paint applications on this kind of um, scaffolding and concrete and stuff like that looks really well. So it's all like, of all the like... Are they bullet holes or something like that in this kind of slab of concrete? You can even see the wires, support wires coming out uh, at different points yet down here. And there's some sort of like a kind of a twisted metal rusted girder and what looks like a sentinel um, forearm cannon. The tailoring on this looks fantastic. The jeans, the belt. I hope the belt is leather too because if the jacket is leather and it won't peel and then you have a pleather belt and it does peel, it just defeats the purpose. Boots as well, and even the head sculpt is small in this image looks great. So maybe it was just that um, angle I was looking at. Then again, here you have him again. Got those bone claws out. He has just lost the leather jacket. So where do you have that strange crotch grabber here? I thought I'd have a dynamics down here so you could like jump and be supported better. Yeah, all these images look good. Again, head sculpt looks a little strange here. Like I'm de I know that this is a good head sculpt. I definitely know that this is a good head sculpt. I'm just saying at certain angles, it, it drops down like two points instead of one point. The base, which I think a lot of people are going to be happy with, they really are. We've seen this a lot. Think of the, the Batman and Bat Signal base they have. You know, the, the deluxe Batman from the Patterson uh, movie. You'd have the the gargoyle on one side and it's modular and the other side then you have the kind of nightclub uh, iceberg lounge light up red stairs uh, the battling version of the um, spider-man from no way home it comes with that kind of like diorama basing it's like a kind of a gargoyle thing or something like that the quarter scale dark knight trilogy batman that's coming out with that huge um, uh, it's like a hawk base and then with the three uh, villains 
I think it has like Ra's al Ghul and then the Joker and then Bane like sculpted into the base. That's a nice touch. So they're really upping their game with the bases. Maybe that's to compete with, um, you know, the, the statue market. Maybe people who um, don't have space for these massive statues. But again, you're getting more bang for your buck. Plus a lot of the bases, the basic bases, sometimes they can look okay and sometimes they just look terrible. Like I never liked those oval bases that they had, like the real old ones they had maybe 10 years ago. And I don't like the huge diamond base either that comes with like the Iron Patriot. And obviously the sand bases for the birds. But um, some of the Star Wars ones are quite nice. They kind of simple rectangular ones um, they're just simple again what can i say about this again the proportions look good um even like the veins on the wrists i'm noticing there like because like in fairness i think this is the most like you jackman obviously put a lot of effort into this physique for these movies but i think the best shape i've ever seen him in was days of future past the guy was an absolute tank and he was um yeah, he's ripped a bit severely dehydrated as well especially judging from that opening first scene um, when he goes back in time this looks great simple walk and pose no stress on the um the figure or the suit or the outfit and just looks great the bone claws definitely grown on me it makes sense that he has the bone claws as well because he was sent back in time pre and adamantium uh, uh times so obviously the whole adamantium is put into his body and he could survive the operation because wolverine's whole um thing is that he could he could heal himself actually i forgot how good that opening scene was uh, when the gangsters come in and they catch him, I think they catch him in bed with the uh, the boss's daughter or something like that, and they go to attack him and they shoot him first, and he, he's not wearing any top, and all the bullets go into him, and then uh, obviously he heals himself. He still feels the pain, but they pop out. Just a great scene, really good special effects as well. Yeah, look, this is the head sculpt looks fantastic there, but can you see the difference? Like that is you, Jackman Wolverine, nine or ten out of ten, and then this is like seven, maybe. It has to be just the lighting because it's too good in this photo here. Um, yeah, like I got my. This is fantastic. This is worth the price of admission here. That head sculpt, and I really like the color of the the leather jacket. And the fact that it's actually a real leather jacket as well. Look, there's a lot of good things to be said for this. Obviously, the head sculpt, the real uh, leather jacket, the uh, proportions, the deluxe base if you're going that way even the bonus accessories nice the tailoring yeah i think i think i'm going to pick this one up however i'm going to wait i'm going to wait i want to see the final product pardon i want to see the final product before i make any decision i'm going to end the video on this photo because that head sculpt is fantastic it turns out that good a lot of people become very happy including myself um yeah i think i could go and this could be my i can make i think i could make my piece with the fact that the claws are not adamantium they're not the metal ones so the bone claws because of the strength of all the things i've mentioned in this video so uh, yeah if you want to support the channel like the video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment are you picking this up or not you can also follow me on instagram and follow me on twitter that's the end of the video see you in the next one good luck